Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, will JavaScript become obsolete or is it too deeply nested into the internet? So let's get into it. Well, that is a, well, a flavor of the same question that most people who don't like JavaScript ask. I mean, there's tons and tons of people who want to see that language fail or go over and it has been that way pretty much since, well, I'm not going to say day one, but pr probably since day one. Now, I don't really know why that is. Um, I suspect, I have my suspicions, but at any rate, I can say one thing, and that is that it seems to be a pretty, uh, well, it seems to be a losing battle. I'm, for people who dislike this language, it, it's actually getting to the point where JavaScript is, and it is, honestly, it is today. If you're doing web work, it is the most important language that you can know. As a beginner, it is probably one of the most useful languages you can know uh, as well. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it, it will rival any, it, it actually allows you to do more than the, any other language at this point. At least things that are as commonly associated with web work or things of this nature. So it's, uh, it's actually very hard to say if it will become obsolete. Now, I think that there is a chance for that to happen with if we consider something like WebAssembly as an as an example, but I don't I'm gonna raise my finger and I'm gonna say this that That is going to be quite a ways off because of a well I mentioned this in the previous video where the problem with WebAssembly and I know that there are tons of people who are very excited about the possibility of using this instead of JavaScript and although it would be a nice it would be probably a very nice it would be a very nice thing to be able to do everything with one single language and WebAssembly represents a level of emp empowerment that we don't really have with JavaScript HTML and CSS at this point the issue is that it will take quite some time for the demand and all of this I mean the first first what's going to happen is that the, you need a few success cases with people using WebAssembly that's number one and that's people are already trying to kind of claim the proof of concept at this point where you show that it is possible to do things it's still early stage and no one who like no one in their right mind at this point is doing well, there are of course companies doing it, but it's not widespread at this point to use WebAssembly to make an entire application using it, right? However, if we get to a point where that becomes common practice and the demand uh, comes in from the actual... Well, from the users basically, because that's the thing that drives what most of what drives the technologies that get adopted there has to be a market demand for WebAssembly made web pages. And even if like, it comes to a point where that demand goes up very high, it has to go up so high that JavaScript almost becomes pointless and we do everything in WebAssembly. If that doesn't happen, I don't see JavaScript ever becoming obsolete. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, if I were to put a number on it, I'm saying that the, we're talking about at least, if everything is like, extremely streamlined and somehow the like largest uh, political hoops are correctly jumped through I'm saying at least five years more I, I, a more reasonable number is gonna be 10 15 maybe 20 years that's my guess because that is about as much time it would in my world take to not only get uh, WebAssembly up to a point where it can basically do everything that JavaScript and the DOM and so forth can do today, it also needs to have all the libraries and as I said the market requirements need to be there, people need to actually expect this and when it comes to being completely obsolete, like making JavaScript obsolete, there is, well that, that's the only, well that's the only path that I can see it becoming obsolete because the investment in JavaScript is enormous. 
I mean, the main, like all the main web companies have, in, have invested in JavaScript as being the standard language for the browser. So it's not a trivial thing to remove. I mean, it's actually, I mean, in my world, it would be likelier to see other languages become obsolete way before JavaScript becomes obsolete. I'm not saying that I love JavaScript or that it's the best language in the world. What I'm saying is that it is very, very deeply nested into the web platform and the investment is enormous. So getting rid of it, well, that's going to be a, be a, a very long and slow process. That's my guess anyway. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're betting your money on that JavaScript is going to become obsolete or you're worried regardless, you know, depending on where you are on the fence, I don't think that you have to, you, could, you, you don't have to worry or hope all that much. I don't think JavaScript is going anywhere within at least 10, uh, roughly 10 years at least due to the fact that the investment in the language is so extremely high and it is the world's most used and world's most popular programming language and currently the only challenger that we have to this is the WebAssembly movement and they like that is extremely st early early stage still so yeah um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to get used to using JavaScript for at least quite some time have a great day